Good morning, everybody. Guess what today is? It's my birthday. That's right, I am 44 years old today. So what should I do to celebrate my birthday? Well, I guess I'll go for a walk in the woods. And if the forecast is to be believed, also I'll be walking in some heavy rain today, <laughs> which that is cool. But um, there's another special thing about today and that is that we are crossing the Kennebec River today. And it's a really big river, and the only way across it is in a canoe, which is an official part of the AT. And the uh, canoe ferry operator starts at 9 a.m., so we are on our way there to catch a ride. It's a really unique experience on the AT. First on the agenda, though, is crossing this river. wasn't supposed to start raining for another few hours, but yep, it is. Um, I really think this forest is beautiful though. All the green plants and then the kind of orange pine needles. Very aesthetically pleasing. made it across the Kennebec River and sorry I didn't uh, film any of that but I had to help him paddle. So now we're headed up to the road. We are going to get a shuttle into the Sterling Inn to get a resupply and unfortunately I'm not staying there. I kind of wish I was <laughs> with the weather and I've heard great things about them but um, I've also heard really great things about their store so that is why I'm going to resupply there. You know that is a big river I would be foolish to try to ford that. Super awesome that they have that canoe ferry service and the ferry operator is just the coolest guy. He was so helpful and nice. What a pretty place. I absolutely love this front porch. We got our resupply there. It was a free shuttle, which is really nice. And now we are headed back into the rainy woods. Oh, it is a sloppy trail again today. I am hiking in my full rain suit, jacket, and pants. Why? Not because it's raining. Not because it's cold. In fact, it is way too hot to even be wearing any of this. But because the mosquitoes today are just unbearable. So I am choosing to sweat to death rather than be covered in welts.
Okay, we've reached the top of Pleasant Pond Mountain. It's like a thousand feet up and it has been pouring for hours. <laughs> and it's still pouring up here, so sorry I'm not filming much. I'm just trying to get my phone dry. Oh, you guys, well, it's a little bit after five o'clock and it's finally stopped raining. It's been raining and I'm talking like Noah's flood raining for the past probably six hours. And I've been walking in it because there's no point in trying to stop. Like you're already soaked, so might as well just keep going. Oh, it's been a rough day. There's just been a lot of, I mean, the trail was already muddy, but now it's just a river or a lake or a pond or whatever. And there's still really slippery rocks and roots. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep going a little bit more and try to find a salt spot to stop for the night. And of course, on a positive note, this forest is still extremely gorgeous in the rain. And it is not 38 degrees and raining, okay? It's like in the 70s or something. So I'm totally gonna be fine. found my camp spot for the night. So here's this power line. And then just as you go back into the woods here, the trail goes that way. And there's a nice little spot right here. Well folks, looks like all I got for my birthday was soggy clothes and mosquito bites. But you know, you can't win them all, right? And there's always tomorrow. Yeah, there's always tomorrow. I'll see you then.